we have uh, 15 inches uh, the description needs uh, that the, the device is stuck on the uh, let's see uh, this is an A1990, so let's, uh, let's see the behavior of the device. So if it's stuck on the FU mode, you should have your haptic feedback, which we do, uh, but it's very faint. Uh, so, so um, Also, the fact that it's stuck on the FU mode, um, um, we can at least uh, assume that it is safe to connect power to it. We do have a trackpad feedback. Uh, so because uh, this is an Intel, we are going to use the safe on port for uh, DFU uh, communication. And then on the host device, you can use any port of your choice. There is no uh, specific port you can use on the host device. For the target device you have to use, uh, if it's uh, Intel, um, you have to use the second port on your left. If it's an M1, you use the first port on your left. Okay, so Apple Configurator 2. Mm. It doesn't seem to be detected, let's uh, try again. So let's see if we let's uh, try to manually put the device in DFU mode. Uh, power button, uh, control, option, and right shift. <sighs> okay, so we are going to try the revive option first. Um, so to revive, you right click, uh, you go to advance. Under advance, you navigate down to revive. That is if you want to maintain the fans data. Sometimes if that doesn't work, device option doesn't work, you have to use the option of restore. But restore will erase uh, the client's uh, data. So the first thing you want to do is to try the option of revive. And if that doesn't work, you then have to communicate, uh, inform the client about the, 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 the files and uh, let them decide if they want to give a go ahead on the files or not. Especially if they don't have a backup, then it's going to be a problem. But if they have a backup, then it's good. Okay, so first we're going to try the revive option. Uh, that'll give this first of all get an idea what type of error that uh, uh, we are going to have. So while while it's downloading, we are going to also check out the back cover to get an idea of what's happening inside the device. So instead of just waiting for it to, to do the download, we can as well take out the back cover while we're waiting.
Okay, while well, this is downloading, I, I, I'm just uh, uh, checking it on the board. Um, and while I'm, I'm, I'm not supposed to um, have power on the board, obviously, while I'm measuring for uh, using my diode mode. But then what I'm seeing is, uh, so, but, but then um, the diode mode is still fine. Uh, continuity mode is the one that uh, you, you don't want to try using, having the power button on. So while it's doing this thing, I just, I'm just doing this to save time. But what I notice is uh, my, so this is my ground, uh, um, red proof on ground, on, uh, diet mode, and that's a poopy bus, that's OL. And then this side here, um, that is ground. Now on the 2.5 volt line, we have 0, 0, 005 on one, that should be ground. And then on the other side, we are getting 0, what? Zero, and the other side is also low, so um, I'm a bit curious uh, why that is the case. And uh, if you have a problem on a 2.5 volt line, the process is not going to uh, the, the the restore process is not going to complete because um, you you require the SSD uh, the the SSD circuitry to be functional uh, in order for you to complete the DFU process. So if the SSD is not functional. Um, your DFU process will not uh, successfully complete. So I, I suppose that is uh, the issue that they are having, which is why they said that the device is stuck on DFU mode. So I suppose they also try to uh, restore it and it, it, it comes back with an error. So let's see what type of error we get. Uh, if we have an error that is SSD related, for example, error nine. Uh, so on this website here, I did mention about uh, so which is uh, every uh, bad caps. Let's see. And this one here. Uh, let's do this. Let me go to the main page. Go down to DFU, uh, DFU max. You see list of error codes on 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 under. Uh, so error nine. So for example, error nine. This this error can have many causes. So quickly finding the cause it's of its occurrence is quite difficult. Here are some of the causes of this error: bridge US partition not found. Uh, use restore instead of revival for my SSD. Nine partition corrupted. Nine chips damaged or similar. Uh, or similar now my functions on the processor itself or power lines on the processor RAM also if there is no processor on the on the board flashing without a part of the cooling system on the Mac with a large uh, TDP so and then uh, we so we are going to see what type of error we get if we get error 6 or error 9 so for error 6 would be probably could not write rejoice in the service position most likely SSD failure now this is uh, this is something that we're going to be interested in and there might be one Hot uh, uh, NAND, uh, common symptoms of the T2 does not uh, does not turn on as five rails. Okay, so the download is complete. Now let's go. Uh, so now it's going to it's going to store. So let's see what 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 if we get any error or if 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 it goes through. Okay. Oh, by the way, the feedback that I'm getting that is because this is an M1 device. If it's an Intel device, you're not going to get those feedback. So if you happen to have an Intel, if you're using an Intel device to, to perform the process and uh, you don't get the feedback, do not be alarmed. Okay, so what error do we get? So we're getting error six. So which is, I suppose this is, uh, so usually what happens is, so if we, for example, if we say now we have an error, yes, and if we, if we say stop, what will happen is the device itself will still be in restore, uh, restore mode. So I think this is what they meant. They tried, they tried it, and it didn't go through. And what I did pick up here is that we might have an issue on a 2.5 volt rail. So let's disconnect the power button, uh, the, 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 power, the power cable. Uh, disconnect the cable itself. Uh, remove power from the board. And uh, let's check just to confirm that and see what it is that we have on the 2.5 volt rail. 
we definitely do not have baby bus. Uh, we don't have a shuttle or baby bus. That's fine. Uh, and then, so this is our 2.5 volt rail. Let's see what we have. We have a beep. And then on the other side, we also have a beep. So, which is we have a problem on the SSD uh, rail. So that is why the SSD is required uh, for you to complete uh, the restore or the revive process. So you see, you see the, the error that we got. So we're having a problem on the SSD rail. The good thing is uh, the fact that we have no shot on the PD bus, that it's uh, good because it means that we don't have a problem on C9080 as yet. Uh, we, we only seem to have a problem on the 2.5 volt rail. So let's hope that that is not also really attached to the SSD chip itself. Let's hope it's one of the capacitors uh, on the 2.5 volt line that has failed. So let's quickly take the board out. Let's quickly take the board out. Uh, I did see a capacitor on the 2.5 volt line that is not looking so good. So uh, we are going to start from there to hope that that will uh, fix uh, the problem. So let's quickly take the board out. Mm, the screws they used here are wrong. Those are not supposed to be the screws. And we also have one of the screw missing. And uh, something else, um, so if you happen to, uh, this is also a wrong screw, that's not supposed to be there. So if you happen to resolve, uh, so if you first start by having to restore a device or revive a device and, and it fails, and you then, you then go to address the issue of uh, whatever it is that the issue is that prevents the device from going through, don't expect the device to just work after you, um, you, you, you address the issue on the board or whatever the issue is. You have to again come back to revive the device or because the device will still be on the, the, the stage where you left off. So you, you remember there was an error and then it, it, it's, it's, it's basically it gives you the, 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 the option to say restore. So which is the device is in restore, uh, which would mean that the device is in a recovery. So when, when you address the issue, don't expect that device will just start because the issue has not been addressed. You have to come back again uh, to, uh, to, your, uh, to your machine, to your host machine to again either revive or, or restore. Yeah, but if the device it's not uh, it's not stuck on uh, on, on restore uh, if the device is not stuck on recovery then addressing the issue will uh, will cause the device to start without you having to perform the process again so it's uh one is almost out Put the shell on the side. Okay, so this is uh, this is the capacitor on the two point five volt line. Okay, I'm gonna quickly turn up the board view. Uh, this is an A two zero dash fifteen inches. Uh, so um, this is the caps that I, I I measured earlier. So let me map it. On fine down here. Say that again. No, no, no. You're on to reset lab. Reset lab. The company is reset lab. Thank you. Bye.
So I, uh, we had used uh, this capacitors here to check for short, and then we obviously we saw that there was a zero. Uh, uh, we were getting zero on this side, and as obviously this is ground, this is expected to be zero. So I'm just gonna uh, check that again. So these are the capacitors that I, I, I had used, which are those ones here. And uh, one side, uh, this is uh, the 2.5 volt line on this side. That is within complete zero, and the other side is obviously ground. So one of the capacitors I, I saw, which is uh, the third one, this one here. So this one here is the one that I, I, I think C1990. That does not look too good. So I'm just going to try to remove it like that and I'll try again okay that's not our problem so we're going to obviously let's see what happens on the other side okay so on the other side C90, uh, C1981 is definitely going to be a problem, even though it's not a problem now. As you can see, it's already getting corroded on the pitiful side. So we are going to remove that. And then we also have this guy here. Uh, this guy is sitting on the 2.5 volt line, this one here. So that cap, it's on the other side of the board, uh, which is this one here. And it's also sitting on the 2.5 volt line. So C90, it's a 7. This one here, it's sitting on the 2.5 volt line. So, and that is not looking good. Uh, let's remove that one. Okay, so let's try again. And uh, this side. Okay, so we are going to adjust that time, but that's not related to our issue at the moment. So right now we are only going to concern ourselves with a 2.5 volt line. Let's see, with that cap out of the way, what now do we have? Let's see if the short is still there. Now the short is gone, so that capacitor was our problem. So we are now just going to put back the two. Uh, so we're going to put that back, and we are going to put uh, this two back. But then we are not going to put back C9081 because uh, we know that that is going to fail again. I'm actually also going to replace uh, the one next to it because it doesn't look so good. Okay, so I'm gonna get another board. Alex, I'll be with you now, a few minutes.
and on the other side Okay, and then on the other side, let's take this out, and we can take this to here. And use those on the other side. Okay, so Let's make sure it's uh, straight.
on this side uh, this is not really an issue for us right now but uh to be good to have it uh, adjust Okay, that's it. Now I'm going to put the device, uh, the board in the shell, and uh, try the revive process again.
it's always good to dust uh, the inside especially because of the components around the edge of the board Okay, so we are only going to connect the cables that we need. Let's have one speaker at least. Uh, we need the power button. We need the screen cable connector. We definitely need the, the left uh, port. Uh, and then let's add the, the battery screw as well. Have this side connected because uh, we are going to plug a charger on this side. Uh, this, uh, so long they're not going to get in the way, we can leave for now. Okay, so. Second port, same this. Okay. Uh, okay, see it's stuck on recovery, yeah? Which is good. Uh, so, what we are going to do is uh, we are going to force the device into DFU. So, we put it on, off, uh, press and hold the power button until it goes off, and then directly see if we can get the device in DFU mode okay so you want to you, you you want to uh, remove the device from recovery to DFU mode because if you if you if you try to revive all this stuff from recovery it might not go through so let's uh, try the same thing again let's revive the file was already downloaded so it's not going to download for the second time so hopefully it goes through this time And that's it. That's a beautiful Apple logo. And uh, the device is loaded. Uh, this is good. Uh, it also means that the client's files are still going to be intact. As we did not um, restore, what we did was to revive. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's a beautiful Apple logo. Uh, it's it's uh, pretty uh, normal for it to shut down. Uh, so we're just waiting. Sometimes that gets stuck, uh, but you don't really worry about it, okay? Uh, the most important thing is your device is <laughs> working. So it's also good for us to get that transition logo. Uh, we're hoping to now say, and now the lock. Now that's beautiful. So whenever you get the lock, that is usually a good sign that your, uh, your revive or your restore process works successfully. Uh, so 
and that's it. The device is done by itself. Sometimes you may have to power the device on. This is standard. This is okay. That recover uh, that uh, error is standard, and that's from the previous. Uh, so that's okay. So we can shut it back down. Uh, you can either do a PRAM reset for, for, for the error to clear out, or you can just start it, start it again. And uh, that's it. Uh, the, it's, uh, we obviously need to increase the brightness, uh, but uh, that's fine. Let's see. Yeah, so we, the touch bar is not connected, so I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Can you see it? It's very low, correct? Yeah. Okay, we can do a PRAM reset, so let's do a PRAM reset. Okay, and that's it. Uh, and that's about it. We had uh, so the device came in, uh, and they, 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 there's been a previous assessment done on the device. They try to revive, uh, they try to restore or revive the device, but that that would not it would not go through. So uh, they told us that the device is stuck on, on, on DFU. We tried it on our side, and uh, we didn't find the device in DFU. But then we had to manually put the device in DFU. We tried it. Uh, but we got an error six, which, and obviously before we also got an error six, we actually found that there was a short on the 2.5 volt line, but then we needed to confirm that by the type of error that we get, which we got an error six, which is a suggestion that we might have an issue on the, the sec section of uh, the SSD. Uh, so we took the board out, uh, we found a cap on the 2.5 volt line that was, that was not looking so good. Uh, we removed it and then we replaced the caps on, on, on that line. And uh, that's it. And then again, we had to, to repeat the process of revive because the device will continue from where we left it off in terms of it. If, if it failed with an error, uh, without, uh, if it failed with an error, just like what we had to say that um, uh, the, the device will, will remain in recovery unless we perform the process again to either revive or to restore. When you revive, the client's files will stay intact, but when you restore, the files will be, will be deleted. Sometimes, depending on uh, the, what the damage has already uh, done, you may have you may, you may find yourself that revive will not fix the problem, but then you have to restore. And in that in, in that case, you have to inform the client first, and then they decide if they uh, want to uh, obviously uh, won't give you a go ahead to do it. But other than that, uh, that's about it. Thank you guys. I will see you guys in the next one.